Welcome friends, Dan Vega here, and in today's tutorial, I wanna to talk to you about customizing your GitHub profile. So this is a video I've actually wanted to make for a while now, but hey, 2020 happened. Uh, life also happened. Uh, I had a baby recently, so I've been really busy with that. So this isn't anything brand new. You've probably seen it floating around, but I'm gonna throw a, a little wrinkle in here uh, with some news that's been going around Twitter this week about contributions to your kind of, your, your GitHub profile. So. Before we get started, if you're new here, don't know anything about me, don't know what I'm up to, uh, I encourage you to head over to this website, danvega.dev. That is my personal website. There you'll find a bunch of free content, uh, articles, videos, courses, uh, you name it. Um, so go ahead and check out danvega.dev and let me know what you think about it. So with that, let's go ahead and move on. So I wanna start here. This tweet has gone a little bit viral this week. And basically it says, what's stopping you from coding like this? And if you're not familiar, those little green dots are basically your contributions on GitHub. When you log into your GitHub profile, which we'll see in a minute, you'll see a bunch of dots that kind of tell you like when you have been contributing to your GitHub account. And this could be uh, on a single repository across all your repositories, uh, whatever. And so let's start there. So. You know, these kind of tweets pop up a lot and it's hard to know if they are for real or they're just satire. And honestly, I think most of the time they're satire because nobody is really doing this. And it's really just to draw engagement into their into their Twitter account, uh, which I get. Um, but it's also very harmful um, because people see this and think that this is something that they should be striving for. So let, let's start there. So in this picture, you see 14,489 contributions in the last year. And the idea is what's stopping you from coding like this? Like, why aren't you coding more? Why aren't you contributing to open source projects? Or why aren't you writing more code? And the idea behind this is a little bit ludicrous because most of us have lives outside of, of work. Um, even if we like to work on a passion project or side work or side project, uh, we aren't we aren't getting here. We're not trying to do this. Um, I think you know, even if you took everything that I do at work and my side projects, I wouldn't get to a quarter of this. And so, I would take this with a grain of salt. You shouldn't strive for this at all. Uh, burnout is a real thing. Uh, take care of yourself physically, mentally. Uh, do not strive for this. I mean, if you you know something I've learned, uh, you know, coming later in life, is that the ability to work on side projects in general is, is a luxury. Like you, not everybody has that opportunity. So we should never look at those green dots and look at somebody's GitHub profile and judge them for that. Cause you have no idea. If you looked at mine, you wouldn't see a whole lot, um, but we use Bitbucket at work. So every day I'm committing code, but it's in a work fashion and it's, you know, not on GitHub. So uh, take those with a grain of salt. I think they're more meant for you uh, when you're, logging into your GitHub account, you can kind of get an idea of like where, um, you know, when you have been active. And you can probably point that out. You'll see a big space in mine in August and say, you're like, yeah, I had a baby. So I'm not going to be writing code in, you know, for a couple months. So you can see a whole bunch of comments on here. Feel free to read through the comments. I will link to this tweet below. Uh, you also see a bunch of uh, counter uh, posts to this. If, so if you go search for what's stopping you from coding like this, there's a lot of really funny and creative tweets. And I really enjoyed that this week, but I, I just thought we should talk about this for a second and make sure we understand that this is not real. Uh, this is not something you should be striving for. Try to find balance in your life. Um, take Again, take care of yourself mentally, physically, and, uh, you know, write as much code as you want to, I guess is what I'm getting to. So with that, uh, let's move off of this. And what I wanna talk about is our GitHub profiles. So here is my GitHub profile before I've done anything. This is kind of the default look and feel. You'll have some popular uh, repositories at the top. You can do some customizations here. You'll have a, a picture, a little bio about who you are. Um, we can see I have some followers. I have some information about myself if you want to contact me. And again, here is that contribution. So I've had a few contributions this year, but again, you'll see a lot of grays in here. And then come August and September, you see a whole lot of nothing. So 
that is what our GitHub profile looks like by default. Well, GitHub recently, well, not so recently now, uh, announced a way to customize this profile and kind of make it yours the same way that I created myself a personal website so that I can kind of show off my style, like who I am. Uh, it's, you know, this website, my personal website really doesn't make me a ton of money. I have some premium courses, but I don't serve ads on here. Like it's, it's more meant for me. Like I love to write and it kind of shows off my style. And so I think in that same sense, um, even if you have a personal homepage, uh, being able to customize your GitHub profile will, will give you an opportunity to kind of show off some style and show like who you are. Like I'm more than just somebody who writes code. Uh, you know, I have interests, I have hobbies. And, you know, from a employer perspective, you know, one of the first things I do when I look at a candidate is, hey, you know, where is their GitHub profile? Are they um, involved in anything? Again, coming back to the contributions, it's not everything, but you know, what, you know, what is that, that, that person interested? Do they work on any personal projects or um, things like that? So this would give me an opportunity to get to know them a little bit more without just like, hey, what repositories have they worked on? So even if you don't have a ton of activity, just being able to like say, hey, this is who I am. These are the things I'm interested in. These are the types of like coding projects that I like to work on. I think is really cool. So what we're gonna do today is do a quick customization of mine. And I'll show you how to get started with that. And from there, I'll also show you, I'm gonna go in and, and show you a couple of like, give you some inspiration for what you might be able to do with your profile. So mine's gonna be pretty basic after today. After today. I just wanna put in like a basic one, um, but there's a, some really cool stuff that you can do. I'm gonna talk about that as well. And then, you know, a couple weeks from now, whenever I finish this up, I'll go ahead and, and post another video of what my uh, updated profile looks like. So this is what we look like now. So uh, if we go over here, there is a uh, awesome GitHub profile. And this is just a list of like um, some really great looking uh, GitHub profiles that other developers have customized. So if you wanna take a chance, um, go through here and take a look at, so there's different categories like, hey, um, code mode. And I know like, let me just find a couple that I know. Uh, minimalistic, I guess, badges, icons, some retros. Let me see what this one looks like. And again, this just gives you an idea of like, hey, if I go, oh, so this pops you into the actual readme, uh, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but this is kind of some retro, like if you've been around on the internet for a while, you kind of notice that kind of stuff. Um, so if you want to take some time and go through and look at kind of what's possible with uh, some of these uh, profiles. All right, so what I wanna do now is uh, go ahead and customize my profile. And there's a way to do this. And the way you do this is you're going to create a new repository with the same name as your GitHub account. So my GitHub account is Dan Vega. So I'm gonna create a repository called Dan Vega. So if we go into repositories, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. And again, the repository name has to match. So let's go ahead and say Dan Vega. Oh, and look at that, you found a secret. Dan Vega slash Dan Vega is a special repository that you can add a readme.md, so that's marked down if you're not familiar, to your GitHub profile. Make sure it's public, so it can't be private, and initialize it with a readme to get started. So what we're gonna do is you don't need to add a description if you don't want to, but, um, I'm just gonna say GitHub profile. Again, it's gotta be public. And what we wanna do is go ahead and add a readme. So what we're gonna do is create this repository and it's going to take us right into the readme. Right now it just says, hi there, with a hand wave. So if we go back to my profile, you'll see that something's changed a little. We have this little box up here and this box is basically going to allow us to customize basically our landing page. This is what others see when they land on my main repository. So what we're gonna do is go back, and in here you can just go ahead and edit this straight here on GitHub. So you'll see there that's the hi there. Um, so here are some ideas to get you started. I'm currently working on, I'm currently learning, 
I'm looking to collaborate on, um, just some uh, inspiration or some ideas to get you going on things that you might want to add to your profile. All right, so I'm just gonna make some changes here. I'm gonna come in here and let's just say, hi, I'm Dan. Uh, by day, I am a curriculum developer for Tech Elevator. By night, I am a content creator who loves to learn new things and teach them to others. That's kind of basically me. And so from there, I'm just gonna add a few links. I've actually already created the links so you don't have to watch me type them out. But here we're just gonna drop these in and get rid of these. So again, all of, these, all of this is Markdown. Again, if you're new to Markdown, don't worry about it. Uh, you can just write in text if you're just writing some paragraphs and that's gonna show up how you would think it should. Um, these little dashes here is the way to create a list in Markdown. Uh, if you're interested, um, I can go ahead and leave some links below to, to get you started with Markdown uh, or create a video if you want to see more on Markdown. I write, down, I write Markdown every day. Um, it takes a little getting used to at first, but once you get used to it, you probably, you'll probably you just never want to go back. So I really enjoy Markdown, but that's not the point of this. So here's my basic change to my profile. So what I'm going to do is come in here, and what we can do is go ahead and commit our changes right here on GitHub, we don't need to pull this repository down, although you could, you can pull it onto your local computer and make the changes there, um, push them up, but I'm just gonna make the changes here and I'm just going to say initial profile updates. And we're gonna go ahead and commit those changes. And there is my changes, everything looks good. I'm gonna go back to my profile and there you go. So now there's a little bit of info about me and how you can get a hold of me. So I think, again, this is gonna be very simple for today. I just wanted to show you that the fact that you can actually make this change and what I'll do is I'll come back and, and show you what I've done with it uh, once I've, I've gone through and actually um, updated it to what I wanna do. I do wanna show you one more thing though. There's some other cool things that you can do with things like GitHub Actions. So there is a repository here called Blog Post Workflow. Using GitHub Actions, you can actually pull your latest blog posts. So I, this is something that I'm going to add to my GitHub profile. I wanna show like my latest YouTube videos, my latest blog posts, um, some information about my courses. Um, so that's all stuff that you can do. And again, one thing uh, you can find this on is on the awesome GitHub profile, just go through and start getting some inspiration for what others have done to their profiles. And you can do that to yours as well. Like I said, uh, I think that's all we're gonna do for today. Uh, this is a really cool new feature. I would suggest you go ahead and update your GitHub profile if you have one. If you don't have a GitHub profile or a GitHub account, uh, create one and just gives you a little bit of a place on the internet to customize and call your own and show off your style. Uh, you can add some cool things like images and a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, I uh, challenge you to go out and do that. And what I'd like to see is if you've created your own GitHub profile, please go ahead and leave a link below and I'd love to check some of those out. Um, so with that, I hope you found value in this video today. If you did, please give me, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, and as always friends, happy coding.